Hi everyone, I'm Bill and this is In the Library. Today we dive into another era of U.S. history. We're going back to the 1980s to take a look at Brett Baer and Catherine Whitney's Three Days in Moscow, Ronald Reagan and the Fall of the Soviet Empire. Before we get to the book itself, I want to mention we've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, and I want to thank you for joining us. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. We also have Patreon and merch. Links are in the description below. Now, despite the title, which is a reference to the last summit between President Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev, the then leader of Russia, which took place in 1998 towards the end of Reagan's presidency. The book is about more than that. While the title summit and what follows from that closes out the book, the main theme is Ronald Reagan and the development of his serious anti-communist stance. He started developing this during his time in California as president of the Screen Actors Guild, and it culminated with the fall of the Berlin Wall. Technically, the fall of the wall happened after the end of his presidency, but his relationship with Gorbachev certainly pushed it along. In writing about this process, the authors dive deep into Reagan's life and background. When they get to the part of the story where Gorbachev is introduced, they do devote a few pages to his background, but not to the extent as they do with Reagan. I would like to have seen more of that. Although, I do understand why they didn't. Reagan is the title character in all. Speaking of the two world leaders' relationship, Reagan and Gorbachev developed a nice friendship to the point where they became known as Ron and Mikhail. Bear and Whitney describe their relationship in great detail, how they come from different ways of political and cultural life, but have things in common namely, wanting to make a safer, more open world. The authors also take a detailed look at the process of presidential speech writing. As a writer myself, I found this aspect of the book really interesting. Two speeches in particular, the one in Germany when Reagan said, tear down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And the other at the Moscow summit, where the speech took place at Moscow State University, he gave a very positive and hopeful speech to the students there. Other speeches are also discussed, but these are two of the most important for Reagan to get his point across. Finally, the reader gets an inside look at the day-to-day -day inner workings of the Reagan administration. This, and the book as a whole, is well-researched and documented. Bear and Whitney paint the picture and set the scene with no holds barred. We get deep into the woods here, but it's, at the same time, it's an easy read. If you like this part of U.S. history, I highly recommend this book. Well, that's it for today. Please check out this playlist right here for more book reviews. And thank you for watching. Please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.